Hey there people. It's a beautiful afternoon in southeastern Wisconsin. Um, I pity those people in New York and New Jersey because they got their first snowfall already. Um, pity them. Anyways, I'm thankful to have this weather even though it's not going to last for too long. And Monday and uh, yesterday I was raking leaves and now the yard is nice and clean even though there's still some leaves in the front yet. Uh, the front was clean when I got done yesterday working but um, unfortunately those maple trees out in front uh, they're pretty stubborn as far as uh, shedding leaves so yeah unfortunately um, the yard is clean then all of a sudden you get leaves again because it'll because of those stupid trees that don't shed and this thing has been sitting underneath a tarp all summertime um, in springtime I got it from an Arab guy uh, he was throwing it out I was riding my scooter when I saw it and I told him could he please put it back in the yard and I'll pick it up later and he was just like yeah sure so I uh, got the truck and I picked it up and he said the engine needed a new carburetor and he didn't want to fool around with this one so he bought a brand new snowblower and it was sitting underneath the tarp all summer I never really worked on it it's missing a starter roll but it's got the electric start on it so yes I'm gonna wheel this thing back to the garage to see if I can get it to run it will probably run um, I'll just clean the I'll just clean the bowl and the carburetor a little bit and yes um, I'm gonna wheel this thing back to the garage now well the snowblower is back to the garage the garage is open now and first I'm gonna check the oil Ugh, usually these things are pretty stubborn oh yeah there it is it's loosened Full enough, good for me. <sighs> Gasoline valve works. I'll leave it on open. The tank is bone dry. I suppose I better take this out of there. Now I gotta pop that bowl off. Well, I loosened up the bowl knot. Now it's time to remove the knot and see what kind of uh, surprises are in here. I expect crustiness. This fuel line is looks like it was pulled off or something. Oh yeah, yeah, it's kind of on the dried, greeny side. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. I'll just clean her up a little bit with some, um, what a, what's that? Um, some SOS pad or something. Yeah, hold on. Well, as you see here, the float bowl is all nice and shiny and clean now. I used steel wool to clean it out. And I also cleaned the float with some steel wool. I took the float off too. And I took some uh, wire brush strands and I cleaned the jet too and now I gotta put this thing back together. Make sure that the hanging side is... I gotta make sure the hanging side is uh, that way towards the muffler because that's where the float hangs. I'll, I'll rotate it around a little bit. Good enough. I'm gonna screw the jet back in. Jet, high speed jet, whatever it's called. I just call it the high speed mixture screw usually. Tighten her up, good enough. Now I'll make sure it's out maybe one and a half turns. Good enough. 
Now I gotta put some gas in this thing to see if I can start it. Well, she's all gassed up. There seems to be no leaks. And the electric starter is hooked up and I'll set the camera down. Electric start doesn't seem to work. Well, I guess I gotta change the rope out. Well, I had a brain fart. Um, I went back in the garage and I noticed that the switch for the outlets was off. So, yes, I'm going to put the camera down now and I'm going to see if this thing's going to start and run. Cool. Tune her a little bit. Throttle spring fell off. Try it once more. Well, she's a runner. Um, I gotta adjust the high-speed mixture screw to see if I can get it to stop stumbling and stalling. So yes, and that concludes this video. Bye.